can go to a different world. Take my hand, we can get away. All the flashing lights, we're burning bright. No, we're never gonna be the same. We can go to a different world. Take my hand, we can get away. All the flashing lights, we're burning bright. No, we're never gonna leave this place. Place. Wasn't that inspiring? There's no doubt aviation is an exciting and thriving industry. But where do you go to learn more and how to join? Hi, I'm Shasta, founder and CEO of DreamSoar and STEM ambassador to the FAA. In 2017, through our nonprofit, I set the world record of becoming the eighth woman to fly solo around the world in a single engine aircraft while participating in outreach events along the trip to inspire young professionals to get into aviation. Wherever you're watching from, thanks for joining us. Today, we want to show you what's next for Dream Soar. But before we talk about where we're going, let me tell you about how it started. When I think back to the day I discovered flight, at age 17, flying on Delta Airlines from California to Florida in the back middle seat, I could not have imagined my aviation career journey and the way it has unfolded so far. When I eventually became a pilot, I was surprised to learn that not only was I the first person in my family to pursue a career in aviation, but I was also the first Afghan woman to hold a civilian pilot's license. It suddenly dawned on me that my place in aviation, despite my late start and lack of resources, mattered and it could impact others. Initially, I decided that I was going to become an airline pilot because that's what I knew aviation to be. Yet, when I landed an internship with a major airline, I discovered the endless possibilities beyond the flight deck. My growing enthusiasm and knowledge of aviation inspired me so much that instead of pursuing a professional pilot career right away, I decided that I was going to share my passion for aviation by flying around the world to promote it to young professionals. I share all of this because although my aviation journey has been very fulfilling so far. It has been an unpredictable and untraditional path. There were many moments where I had serious doubts and many uncertainties about the next steps. Being the first generation student added even more pressure to succeed. Because I saw so few people who looked like me or came from a similar background, it was up to me to put the pieces together. Dream Soar was established because of all of this. With the support of the industry, I got into an airplane and flew it around the world. And the airplane literally served as a vehicle to inspire others. It allowed us to show off the different sectors that make aviation. When I spoke at outreach events, I highlighted some of the careers that supported the global flight, like a flight dispatcher, air traffic control, catering, immigration, and airport operations, just to name a few. And it worked. People were so inspired, but it felt like it wasn't enough. Here's why. On the back end of the global flight, I had the chance to visit my old middle school in Richmond, California. In the same school gym, where I remember timidly blending in with my classmates during PE, I stood in front of 300 students and talked about aviation. After my presentation, as usual, I got so many questions from inspired students on where they can go to learn more. But this time, the questions from these particular students felt different. Perhaps it was because I saw myself in them. My standard answer was to direct them to their local airport, echoing the standard answer I heard throughout my career. But deep down, I wish I had more to offer. Now, having met over 25,000 children through over 60 outreach events DreamSoar has participated in, we realized that inspiring the youth to get into aviation was relatively the easy part. 
The challenge would come after when these young professionals wanted to learn more about the industry and get connected. Additionally, of the students we inspired, we didn't have an infrastructure to measure their progress or provide them with tools we knew they needed to be successful. This had us at DreamSoar wondering, what if there was a centralized hub, an online place where students, parents, educators, and companies can visit and have access to our industry with clear pathways and resources? This is the solution I wish I had at age 17 after discovering aviation for the first time. And this is a solution so many young professionals need to feel inspired, connected, and empowered in aviation. We realize it naturally builds on the frameworks for success we modeled from the beginning of Dream Soar. Here's how. One, the flight allowed us to introduce aviation globally to young professionals. Second, members of our dream team who were college students that supported the flight used their experience to grow and connect with the industry. And third, in 2020, DreamSoar launched a scholarship program with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University at the Daytona Beach campus. Our history of inspiring, connecting young professionals to the industry and our innovative approach to outreach are key elements that have shaped our next chapter. The next chapter for DreamSoar will focus on becoming the one-stop shop hub for the aviation industry to inspire, connect, and empower the next generation. To be specific, we want to do three things. One, improve students' awareness and preparedness for working in the industry. Two, help companies attract and hire the best workers. Three, eliminate barriers to entry and workforce shortages for good. The outcome is straightforward. With a better outreach approach and strategy, we will be more efficient in directing young professionals to the right jobs in the workforce. We know they will be motivated to naturally think of innovative solutions to drive their respective sectors forward. It's a virtuous cycle, a flywheel. At DreamSoar, we believe this flywheel will be the engine to grow and drive the industry forward into a measurable and enduring way. But why a one-stop shop hub? For one, the FAA established the Youth Access to American Jobs in Aviation Task Force in 2022 to find solutions in getting more students into aviation. One of the key solutions in the final report by the task force, which cited Dream Soar as one of the organizations doing the work, was an industry hub. Coincidentally, in the spring of 2021, at Dream Soar, we began putting the pieces together for an industry hub and was pleased to discover that the findings in the report validated our ideas. Now, with the pieces in place, we are excited to bring the solution to market. At the same time, as the world emerged from the pandemic, demand for private and commercial aviation intensified so much that businesses, instead of benefiting from the tailwinds, discovered that their ability to keep up was restricted because they couldn't find enough workers. Even with the tough economic headwinds, Air travel has been one of the industries that have proven to be indispensable. Therefore, the need for a centralized place to inspire, connect, and empower young professionals in order to maintain and grow the industry is no longer aspirational. It is critical. Our industry is already doing a lot of the work. We just need a hub to pull it all together and to allow you to have insights Track your progress and the tools to make it count. Aviation offers a compelling opportunity to work on exciting technologies alongside supportive people. The aviation industry supports nearly 90 million jobs worldwide. 
Trade represents 56% of the global GDP, and aviation as a sector of trade is the fastest and most economically productive way to move goods and people. And while that is the case, we've recognized that various broken links in the talent supply chain hurts the industry. If we don't evolve with the demands of the changing world, this can have a long-term serious effects. Fundamentally, there are three big challenges and opportunities the industry needs to address. Let's break them down. First, when we think of the aviation workforce, we tend to see mostly images of pilots and technicians. For instance, in the commercial market outlook, Boeing predicts by 2041, worldwide, we will need 602,000 new commercial pilots. 610,000 aircraft technicians, and 899,000 flight attendants. But that isn't the most startling fact. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, pilots make up only 0.1% of the 867 direct and related aviation professions. This highlights the need to significantly widen the scope so that young professionals can clearly see that there are several career opportunities that may appeal to them. We know that the students are there. At present, there are over 130,000 K through 12 schools in the US with 53 million students. Through the hub, we can ensure every student across the nation can explore aviation and have access to pathways. Most importantly, there, they will have the opportunity to discover aviation and have a community to support them. Second, the pathways for young professionals to find jobs and the hiring process for companies could be more efficient. For young professionals, the average job search time for college graduates is six months. Seven out of 10 2022 graduates told Monster in a survey that they took a job that didn't meet their career goals just so that they could pay the bills and get experience. From the company side, hiring costs are the highest it's ever been. If you look at the processes more closely, you'll see that at each step, companies are spending more to bring people on board, and it takes months for new hires to even be productive at work. But here's how the hub can bring it all together. Our outreach segments will match students more closely to jobs that fit them. And our ecosystem will also help us to provide them with the support services they need, along with the education to industry pathway. Everybody wins. Finally, the industry is ripe for innovation. The need for solutions like sustainable aviation fuels, advanced air mobility, artificial intelligence, supersonic flight, space flight, and connectivity demands we have young professionals working on them now. There are many moonshots to pursue, but without widespread and diverse talent, we run the risk of being behind. With the right talent, we could get ahead. Aviation is already all around us and a big part of our lives. On any given day, the industry collaborates with each other to bring awareness to young professionals all over the country. There are career fairs, air shows, museum visits, and just broadly millions of people getting on airplanes daily for business or pleasure. We have so many opportunities to bring in more talent. Today is a new day for the industry. The catalyst for growth is inspiring, connecting, and empowering young professionals. Moreover, it needs to exist in one location, a hub. We've never been more excited about leaning into the future and bringing the industry together. The solution is here.